Our children and family never had the pleasure of knowing Mr Tudor. Um, we only moved to the area at the very end of September last year. Um, the children came to a school Banwy from England, from an English-speaking school with no knowledge of Welsh at all. Um, I really genuinely believe that the creation of the garden and their involvement has helped them beyond words. I think, first of all, we all know the benefit of being physical um, and how when children are able to use their bodies, they then can go on and concentrate more, for example. But it's way beyond that. It's definitely created the most amazing sense of community that our children are already completely ingrained in, we believe. They are so happy when they've been working on the garden, they come home, they're full of excitement to tell us what they've been doing. Um, and I think their well-being and happiness has been created from being a part of that community project that they're really proud to be involved in is just speaks for itself. But beyond that, I think that it also shows how you don't have to be sat behind a desk to be learning maths, literature, science. When you're building a bird box and they're obviously having to work out lengths and angles, they're also talking about the texture of the wood, um, whether it's smooth, whether it needs sanding, is it too rough? And of course, as they get older, that gets in more and more in depth. My children are still fairly young. So I think there's so much to be learned, so much to gain from being involved in a physical project where they can see the end result in a group. The whole school have come together and it's not just about the physical movement. I think to me, it shows just how much they can learn through doing a project that they're interested in and passionate about. And I think that just shows how this school really cares about the children and thinks beyond the now perhaps old fashioned way of sitting behind a desk and thinking that is the only way you can learn. Actually, there's so much to say that isn't the only way you can learn. There's so much information about how when children's interests are peaked, when they're felt like they're part of something, that is when they learn more. And I think that this garden is, I've already said it, but the perfect example of this. I think they've have covered every subject in doing it. And at the end of it, they've created this wonderful space that's going to keep developing. They can see it change throughout the year, through the seasons. It's going to provide food for them with some of the things they're growing that no doubt they'll then end up baking and cooking in school. So it really ties the children into the environment, into their environment, gives them a sense of belonging and community and stability. And I think when you have that, you then create children that are not just in a box sat learning at a desk, but they're able to critically think. They're able to look outside the norm. They're able to, as they get older, they'll be problem solvers. They'll be confident. They'll be able to feel their passion and know that whatever it is they are good at, they can go and follow that. They don't have to only be good at the academic things. They can learn in other ways. And to me, as a parent, there is nothing I want more than for my children to grow up and feel empowered through their education. And I genuinely believe that this garden has done exactly that. And I am so grateful and we cannot thank you enough.